It's a heavyweight showdown in St. Louis. Dan Tom here with MMA Junkie to help you break down the main event for UFC on ESPN 56 between Derek Lewis and Rodrigo Nascimento. Nascimento, who is riding a three-fight win streak that should probably be a four-fight streak, if not for having a fight overturned with Alan Badeau for a USADA violation for Ritalin. Regardless, he called for some top 15 opposition after his last fight, and well, uh, for his sins, so to speak, to quote Apocalypse Now, well, the UFC matchmakers are giving it to him in the form of perennial contender and knockout leader Derek Lewis. Of course, the KO King there, a leader in not just his division, but abroad for knockouts. Well, Lewis, after a strange outing in Brazil, is going to try to get himself back in that old W column this weekend. At the time of this video, the odds makers and the public are siding with the Black Beast Derek Lewis, and the neighborhood of minus 172 is your favorite with a comeback on Nascimento, your underdog, in the neighborhood of plus 134. Uh, the, spri uh, the spread doesn't surprise me. Uh, it doesn't surprise me who is favored. Uh, I agree with all that. Uh, however, I do think Nascimento could be a live dog early, perhaps by submission in particular. The problem is, if he doesn't get that submission, I don't know if he's got, you know, the wrestling chops, the chain wrestling, so to speak, some underrated wrestling, but again, I don't know about the level of a Daniel Cormier or a Jailton Almeida or Spivak. That's kind of the levels you have to be at at this division. Otherwise, Lewis has traditionally done better against, you know, jiu-jitsu guys or even wrestlers. It's strikers, especially strikers with knockout power and excellent athleticism like Pavlovich and Tuivasa. Those kind of guys have given him problems. And even though Nascimento has made a lot of improvement to his boxing fundamentals, some slick switch kicks, I don't think it's going to be enough. I don't, I don't know if he's got that knockout power, the athleticism, or the finishing level on his shots. In fact, I've also seen him give up some positions willingly or otherwise on the ground that could get you in trouble against a guy with devastating ground striking like Derek Lewis. I also think Lewis is going to be live in the clinch and off the brakes. However, for more pathways for the underdog with Nascimento to win and results this weekend, check out my in-depth breakdown over MMAJunkie.com where I give you the exact pick and you can find all the results.